أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم So last class we started a new topic called Jawazimul Fa'alil Mudare Okay, so we are going to revise what we learned during the last class and inshallah the, uh, the target will be to finish this topic in this class. So what do what is Jawazimul Fail Fail Lil Mudare? Um Brother Abdul Majib, do you know what they are? What do they do? Yeah, so basically <clears throat> if there is a fail mudare after that word, um they make it in the jazam state. So basically like if it is uh if the if the failal mudare ends with uh, dhamma, mm -hmm. like the dhamma is dropped and it is replaced with a jazam or a sukur. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and if if there is a noon in failal mudare, then the noon is dropped. Okay, all right. So it's a group of words. When they come before al failal mudare, they make that failal mudare majzum, meaning. They replace the Dhamma on the last letter with a Jazm, or it is called Skun as well. And when there is a plural, they drop the Noon. And okay, who are they? those words? The list of those words. Anybody knows? Raise your hand if you know the list of words. Nobody knows. Sister Afia knows. Okay, go ahead, Sister Afia. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum. Li, lam, lamma, la, in, man, ma, aynama. Very good. Very good. Okay. Uh, sister, what does this li mean? Do you know? Li should or must be. Yeah. There is another li we learned when we were learning Nawasibul Fe'alil Mudayr. Same word, that same letter. What does that mean? For? No. no, no, no. That is jar, harf jar. Yes. That li, which is nawasibul pein lil mudare, that means. Mm -hmm. Daniel, it, I think it's you, Daniel, right? Yes. What does that li mean? Uh, li is a uh, lam kai. Lam kai, yeah, that is lam kai. What does that mean, though? Li means so that. So that. So we have how many li we have learned so far, uh, Dania? Uh, there's lam kai, and then there's lam jar, and then there's uh the li for should. Yeah, this this li is called lamul amr. Lamul amr. So we have three lam. The first one we learned was lam jar, which means, Dania. Four. Four. Then we learned lam kai. Lam so that. So that. And the third li we learned is called Lamul Amr, which is on the screen now. What does this mean? Should. Should or must. Yeah, good. So we should know this. The first li, which is Lamjar, always comes before an ism. Always comes before an ism. And these two li, Lam Kai and Lam Lamul Amr, the one we just learned, is both of them, they come before Jawazi, before the al fayl mudare Okay. Then the lam. Lam means did not. Okay. And then there's lam. Uh, go to somebody else. Um, sister Amara, she raised her hand. So, sister, what's the okay. next word? Uh, lamma, lamma, not yet. Lamma, La not yet. I have a question for you. I have a question. When Lamma comes before al fail al Mudare, it means not yet. Okay. But it also comes before other words who are not al fail al Mudare. It does not mean not yet in that case. Do you know what it means? Um, when. Um, when. Okay, Lamma, when. Lamma means when. But when it comes before al fail al Mudare, it doesn't mean when. It means not yet. Not yet. Okay. So, what's the next word? Uh, la. Uh, do not. Do not. There is another la, regular la. 
which is not la nahiya. It just means not. Not. But this la, this is a special la. The other regular la that does not make al fail al mudari majzum. No, it doesn't. Okay. But this la nahiya, which is used for forbidding, forbidding something. Do not do this. Should not do this. Please don't do this. If you want to say that, you use this la, which will. <laughs> Okay, what's the next one? Next one is in, uh, which means if. Okay. Then man, who, uh, ma, what, ainama, uh, wherever. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sister. Okay, so I'm, I've used lam last time, but just assume I'm using la. Okay, let's let's use lam first. Uh, and then I use this list of al fail al mudare. And then we are going to see how lam affects each of these verbs, inshallah. This is what we are going to we are going to see. Sister Rihanna. Lam joins with yaftahu. What will happen? Lam lam yaftaha. Laf, lam yaftahu. No, 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 no. Not yaftaha. It will be yaftaha oh, sorry, if sorry, lam sorry. was nasibul fail. Sorry, 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 sir. L okay. Lam yaftah. Okay. Lam yaftah. Lam yaftahu. Lam yaftah. Lam taftah. Lam aftah. Lam naftah. So taftahu, aftah, and naftah. So the dhamma. And the last letter is replaced with what? A jazam, or you can say skoon. And for plural, noon is dropped. Okay. Uh, thank you, sister. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, Musab Iqbal. Musab? Yes, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. We used lam, lam, which means not did not for this example. Okay, you're with me? Yeah. Okay, I want you to use la. Just assume for a second that instead of lam, over here is la, this special la, la and na here. Okay, so what will be here? La yafta. Sorry? La yafta. Okay, keep going. La yaftahu, la tafta, la taftahu, la, la afta. La nafta. Okay. La yafta. What's the meaning? Uh, do not open. He should not open. You should use the second one. Should not. He open. should not open. Open. La yafta who? Uh, they should not open. La tafta. You should not open. Do you do you remember where we used la tafta before? Right, we used la tafta before. Yeah, we know this already. In the table. Ifta, la tafta. Oh, uh, yeah. Ifta, it's la the same tafta. la tafta. So this la, we already know this la actually. This la is used in failun nahi. La tafta. La tafta hu. Remember? Yeah, I do. Yeah. So you already actually know this la, la and nahiya. And it is used in felun nahi. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So this is not a new information. We know this la already before. And we have seen its effect. It is making taftahu majzum. All right. Thank you, um, Musab. And then Musab, stay with me for a second. So when lam is used with the feminine fail al fail al mudare, what's the difference? Uh, it would be. Okay, do it. Lam. Tafta. Mm -hmm. Lam tafta. The lam taf. Is no tafta now. Lam yaf. Lam yafta. Lam yafta. Huh? No. You don't remember. 
I mean, it gets a sukoon or a jazam on it. That's another thing you will see. And this is a way to recognize it, actually. It helps uh, in recognizing it really, really easily. Okay. So I just wanted to add a little. Uh, we learned this last time, too, you know, again, for you see the feminine plural, first of all, did not drop noon. But for the second person, this lamul amr is not normally used. Instead of using lamul amr, already known words, if tahi, if tahna, which come in the table. We already are familiar with these words. They are used instead. Okay. And this lam is called lamul amr. I just want to remind you that when we were learning Bab Nakes, maybe I should not do this right now and let uh, somebody do it from the class. Okay. Anybody remember this, uh, this surf? Umar, can you do this? Ra'a. Ra'a. Ra'au. Raita, Raitum, Raitu, Raina. Yarau. No. Yara, Yarau. Yaraita. Yara, Yarau now. Yara, Yarauna. Tara, Tarauna. Ara, Nara. Ra, La, Tara. Rau la tarau. Ra in. Rauna raina. Mar ion. Mar iona. Mar iina. Rayon. Rayon ru yatun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy over this al mudare column. Al fail mudare column. And I'm going to use it is with one of the nawasibul fail il mudare and see how it changes. So I'm going to use lam. I'm going to use with this list of al failul mudare from the table we just saw. Now, when it was yaftahu, the ha at the end had a dhamma. Yaftahu. And lam was attached to it. And then it became lam yaftah. The dhamma was replaced with the a sukoon, a jazam. A sukoon or a jazam. Okay. This is what was, hap was happening last time. You know, what happened last time. This time, the last letter doesn't even have anything on it. Hmm? So what do we do now? What do we do? Abdullah. Abdullah Shuaib. Yes, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. So when it was yaftahu, it became what? Uh, lam. Yaftahu, lam yaftah, lam yaftah, lam yaftah. yaftah. The dhamma, the page, was replaced with what? Uh, sukun. Sukun. Over here in this special example, the last letter, letter doesn't have anything on it. So there is a problem. All right. How are we solve this problem? They just lam. move the letter. And lam yara now is majzum. This is a majzum form of yara. So this is what the Arab do. If there is last letter doesn't have anything, which like a ya here doesn't have anything on it, they just remove the letter. But for plural, they do the same thing. Remove the noon. Lam, ta lam, lam tara. tara. What will be the next one? Lam tara. Next. Um, lam ara. Lam nara. Nara. That's it. Alam tara kaifa. So you will see in Surah al -Fil, Alam tara. The ya is gone in that case. Because it has become majzum. Tara is majzum. Tara is not majzum. So this is another variation. Where you will see if the last letter doesn't have a haraka on it. Which is ya in this case. Then this letter will be gone. When it becomes majzum. Because of a jazimul. Failil mudare. So I will stop here and now we can go to the uh, breakout room and have practice, uh, see other examples.
of uh, of the world's uh, other jawazmul fail in mudari